else. <laughs> okay. Um, hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Today I was watching Blue Bike and Doyle. Hello Doyle. So you wanted to glitter bomb me? <laughs> That's cute. You, and then you changed your mind. You decided maybe you better not. I'm a nice lady. Yes, I am. So don't glitter bomb me. <laughs> that would be a mess to clean up too. Have you ever had any, have you ever done a project with glitter? It's like all over the place. When I was in the school, we used to glitter things up and there was one of the speech ladies really hated it when we used glitter because she used to leave our room full of glitter and she didn't, she didn't even help us with the project but because glitter seems to get everywhere. Okay, um, I also got a comment today from Teresa Ann 83. She's from Western New York too. Jim goes, hmm, what are you talking about? You know, look, it was like you didn't know what I was gonna say. Yeah, she, she left me a comment to say that she's from Western New York and she found me through um, Mona's channel, which is about face with Mona. And um, Teresa Ann is into makeup and beauty products, so it's a beauty channel, and so is Mona's. And I love watching them. Even though I don't wear makeup, well, I wear lipstick. But I did win Mona's giveaway, which mm -hmm. I should be getting a palette from e.l.f. This ought to be interesting because my grandkids will probably show me how to use it. They, they are big into makeup. Um, I also got a card today from... Brian, this is Brian's Loose Hill Homestead. Brian, I got your card today. He's he's nephew Brian. Nephew Brian, yeah. <laughs> That's from Aunt Nona Grace and Uncle Jim, or to Aunt Nona Grace and Uncle Jim. Um, this is the card. It's real pretty and shiny. I love the tree you drew inside. He did a scribble tree. I remember kids doing that, but I had forgotten all about it. That is pretty nice. Thank you. And Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you, too. I also brought in for my Mr. Brown because I was, I'm, I was, I've done, I've trimmed his nails twice now, but I was looking at his beak and I'm thinking, you know, I wonder with the other animals that I've had in the house, we had to have a stone that they could chew on or something. Or like when you had the guinea pigs, you had a little mineral block that they used to chew on or you always made sure they had a block of some wood in there so that they could chew to keep their teeth down. Same thing with a rabbit. And I was thinking the beak on a chicken could grow too, just like their nails grow. So I thought, well, maybe I'll bring in a cement block. So I did one of those building blocks, concrete blocks. Mm -hmm. I left the dirt on it. It's like <laughs> a paving stone. Yeah, pavy. it is a paving stone, I think. Isn't it? No, it's actually a capstone for a concrete block wall. Oh, well, anyways, I brought it in and I put it on one of those bags that his feed would come in. And I left the dirt on it so that I could see if he was scratching on it. Because I thought, you know, he they they like to swipe their beak on something when they're when they're eating. They brush it on the ground, and that kind of keeps it from growing. And they also like to scratch on the ground and that keeps their nails down. So I thought, well, you know how cats have a scratching post? Maybe he needs a scratching block. So that's what I brought in. And he was, I did put some chicken scratch on it so that he would try to dig at it. And he did do that, she did do that. And um, I'm hoping that her beak, she does the same thing with the beak. Well, I wanna put a little video in that I'll put that in right now and it was of the something with the snow. Jim loves to be outside and as you can see he dug a pathway around the chicken area for my chickens and this way they will come out. There's some that are still inside. They only come out if there's dirt on the ground. The let me check, see if I got any eggs. It should be interesting to see. Yesterday I got 10. Today I've picked out one so far. Oh, I've got some girls that are busy in there. All right, girls, I will let you be. Oh my goodness. 
a little early. I'll have to come out again later. Now we'll check and see if they're done. Oh, I got three more. I have one hand still. Oh, all right, all right. Don't get so grumpy. She only got one under her. Okay. I took it. She's not happy that I'm looking. All right, all right. The chickens, I left the door open today, and they were outside for a bit. Then Jim, as you saw, dug or he cleared the snow away from the little people around the people and they were actually out there for a while they were walking in that part of the the grass so that they could get to some grass instead of mud because we had believe it or not we had a heat wave today it went to 36 degrees 36.6 .6 degrees <laughs> so it was melting everything's melting off yeah, it was melting. I had a thought of when I was saying that. I was, oh, a hawk went by. Yeah. I, that's the first hawk I've seen since I put the little people out. And that hawk kind of flew towards where my chicken area is, but then it went, drifted off to the other side. The clothes on my little people flap in the breeze. And I think it thinks that maybe those, and so it disappeared and I didn't see it anymore. But the chickens were well aware that it was there when it was there, when it started coming towards the house. But it didn't circle us or anything. It just kind of flew by and disappeared. Well, that's it for today. I don't have anything more to tell you, so I hope you all had a great day. And I will see you all again tomorrow. Bye-bye.